Now there's nothing more exciting than planning your wedding flowers for your wedding. So I'm here tonight at the Waterford Florology launch with Jeff Latham and I'm going to ask him his advice and his ideas on what flowers we can expect to see this season. So Jeff, I'm really excited about this new range, Waterford Florology, but what I know that all the brides are really interested to know from you is what is going to be the flower of the season. Well, I think that I'm always pushing brides to do something different, and I feel like that everything that a bride does needs to really reflect their personality. So I'm seeing that I think a lot of people are kind of pressured into using white, white, white because that's so tradition. I think tradition is very important, but I think personality is more important. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of pink and white for brides in this coming year. Um, and I really feel like everywhere you take your guests, from the cocktail party to the ceremony to the after party, should always be a different color experience. So I don't think weddings have to be all white anymore. So that's, I mean, that's my prediction and that's what I'd like to see. That's perfect. And do you have a favorite flower that you like to work with? Well, I, my favorite flower is the magnolia up here, the white magnolia. Um, I think I always use orchids, I always use calla lilies, and I always use roses. Those are my three staple flowers. And I always use a, a flower that's in the season, like if I use an amaryllis or I'll use a hydrangea. Um, so I think that's important. And to never mix. I think brides, a lot of the time, they get really stressed about their wedding. And I think that they should always, like I mentioned, stick with their personality. Because there's a lot of, you know, you have your mother-in-law saying things to you, you have your best friend saying things to you, you have your own mother saying things to you. And it can get clouded and confusing for a bride. And really it's important to just say, you know what, this is my special day, this is what I want to do, and everyone should just kind of agree with that. I think everyone yeah. would agree with that. But it gets, I mean, a lot of the brides that I've worked with the last couple of years are like, you know, this is what I want, but they're paying for half the wedding, and this is what they want. And really, it's, it, you know, you're not marrying them, you're marrying their son. So, you know, just take it easy and enjoy the day. Hopefully it'll be the only time you get married. Hopefully. <laughs>